Shall we begin? Let's begin. Let's get this thing in the water. Hello, and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D. Hey, we've got a whole slew of product reviews and kayaking tips and tricks and um, photography uses on a kayak and especially on an inflatable kayak. We're going to be reviewing all these different products and these different uh, kayaks and, and where to go and what to do and how to play with them and all that kind of stuff like that. So, hey, we're going to get started here shortly, but before you do, please, if you like our videos, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So hey, we'll be back in just a bit. Let's begin. Hello and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D. Hey, we got a super surprise. We've got a brand new limited edition kayak offered only by Air Kayaks and manufactured by Advanced Elements. This is the AE1044 DS XL series. Now, what they did is they took an advanced frame 10.5 and lengthened it out and did some modifications to it to add five more inches to the overall length. They put a drop stitch floor in it. You get the double action pump with gauge. You get all that stuff right here. Just order it from airkayaks.com. That's the only place you can get this bad boy. Now, yeah, we're going to go through the setup and tear down and all that kind of stuff like that. But I wanted to talk a little bit about this kayak. This thing is the bomb, guys. Uh, it comes with an in, a lumbar inflatable seat. Um, the other ones don't. You have to buy that as a separate purchase. So you have a, you can adjust your lumbar uh, comfort and all that kind of stuff like that. It's got a foot rest system. You don't have to use the inflatable pillow and uh, very similar to the um, Expedition. Now what that does is it allows you to adjust your foot length based on your, uh, your height and comfort. It's got this great zipper system to assist when you get in. Now it's got a 33 inch beam here. And what, when you want to get in, uh, in the boat, you kind of just loosen this up, break these things loose, undo that clip. You can see you have easy access to get in and get out of your uh, kayak, which is really a cool way to go. It has D-rings, got four D-rings here, full front uh, rigging. Now it does come with the D-ring setup right here. Now I am going to add my own um, 3 16 uh, paracord or elastic cord rigging in here and add the clip buckle so I can have some rigging in the back also. So what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna show you how to unpack this thing, get it all assembled, get it ready for the water, and then show you how to take it down and put it back in the bag. So that's what we're gonna do. So we'll be back in just a little bit. All right, so here we go with the setup of the AE1044 DSXL Limited Edition exclusively from Air Kayaks. Now, I unzipped this yesterday to pull the pump out of it. It does come with the pump, but I haven't taken the boat out, so there may be packing materials in here. I really don't know, so let's find out what's going on. Now, it does come with an excellent storage and carry case, and what we're going to do, all right, one of the first things I want to show you is this comes with a modified seat back here. It's got some straps back here with the standard lumbar seat does not have. And this is where for you anglers out there, if you want to put some PVC tubing down these straps and be able to hold your rods here. Uh, it has a Velcro attach back here and a long seat attachment. And this is great because on my sport, I like to keep the seat from folding down when I carry it. So this will uh, help me get to that point. This is a lumbar seat. That means it will inflate. To inflate it, it's really simple. You take the twist lock, you 
blow it to where you want it, and you're all good to go. We'll set this off to the side right now because we'll put that in at the end. So let's get this thing out of the case and see what we've got here. All right. You have the three inch fin in the back. And what we're gonna do is spin this around so I have the back of the boat that way. And we'll get it all inflated and see what we got going on. Now, again, it comes with the, uh, the drop stitch floor. And it's already pre-installed. Now, these inserts, a lot of them tell you to uh, put these inserts in as you partially inflate. I've learned over time that you want to do that. I do it first before I even inflate the boat at all. This gets them set into place really well. Now this has military spring valves. To inflate and deflate, to inflate, put your finger in, press it down just a hair, and go counterclockwise, and it'll pop right up. We've got the craft all ready for inflation. All the military spring valves have been popped up so we can uh, put the air in and not have to worry about losing air. Now the pump comes with all the appropriate fittings. Now I took two of the fittings off because I don't use them. But this is the high pressure floor fitting. This is your military spring valve fitting. And this is the one for your twist locks. So the first thing we're gonna do is to partial fill the outside airbag. Okay, and then before you do that, make sure that you're on the inflate in your double action pump. Now just get it to where it starts taking shape. And then we're gonna switch over to the inside chamber to finish it up to two PSI. So the main chambers are filled. And take your caps and put it on your two valves. Okay, the next step is to change out your fitting to your high pressure floor fitting. Make sure the spring valve is in its up position. Click it into place. Now this goes up to six PSI. I go to four. Uh, I found out that uh, it's firm enough for me at four PSI. And then the heat allows for a little bit of expansion so I don't have to worry about it having problems. And do the same thing. Secure it with the cap. Okay, the next thing to do is to fill your deck lifts to one PSI. You'll locate those right here. They are a twist lock. And normally it just takes about one pump to do it. Okay, and then just twist that and lock it before you take the attachment off. And that one's good to go. That's one deck lift. We'll do the other side to the other one. Now the next thing to do, and the final two valves, is your combing valves. Same process using the same connector fitting. Remember, no more than one PSI, because it can rupture the bag. Okay, the inflation process is actually completely done. Okay, along with this boat comes a foot brace system, and it's a rod with a piece of heavy duty or very dense foam on it with straps on each end, and you'll find locator holes 
alongside the main chamber where you can adjust it to your specific foot placement. All right, the final step is the lumbar seat. Now to put that in, it's really simple. You got two little locating clips. Now the first time you go out, you'll preset them and then you probably won't have to do it again. Okay, to tear this thing down, you just kind of reverse the process of everything that you've done. First thing, you want to disconnect your seat and get it all out of there. So just disconnect the couplers. And take your twist lock valve and just open it up and that'll empty it out. Now I'm going to show you a quick way to do this where you don't have to use the deflate process. So you take all your twist locks and go ahead and deflate them. Take the floor, push in and hold down and you'll see that it'll just deflate like right now. Okay, reduce or take off these caps. Push and go clockwise to lock it into the down position. Do the same thing for this valve here. Now, the trick is a lot of people, uh, what they do is they go ahead and um, use the deflate process. I let the, the pressure of the boat do it. So I just kind of fold it over and push down and it will totally deflate. Pull out your inserts, which I forgot to do over here. Now when you get out of the water, you wanna make sure you wipe your boat down. Well, being that we weren't kayaking today, don't have to do that. Now you find a point right here after the skeg or the fin and bring it over and I just push. Do the same thing here. Now you can see there's still air in here but it's going down really rapidly. And this whole process only takes a couple minutes. Okay, now you just grab your bag. What I do is I put about a third of it in from the two folded ends. Then I take the single fold in and insert it here. Flip it. Now I grab the seat, put it in, take the inserts and get them in the center fold. And there you have it. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and wrap this video up and get ready for part two. Well, hey guys, this kind of wraps this things up and I just wanna do a quick recap here on the boat itself. Um, one of the things I wanna run a really stress is do not go over two PSI in your main chambers. That is the max. Now, if you're living in Florida like I do, uh, heat will cause your boat to expand a little bit. So if you're at uh, you're at two pounds, now I've never had a problem with it, but I've had a couple of people ask me about that. So what I want to do is just advise you go up around uh, one and 1.75 psi 
to allow for that air expansion. Now, again, I've never had it. I fill mine to two PSI every time, but I'm out early in the morning. I don't go out during the real hot part of the day, which could cause the boat to expand. So keep that in mind when you're doing that. Now, again, this is exclusively offered by airkayaks.com, manufactured by Advanced Elements. You can only get this from airkayaks.com. This is the AE 1044 DSXL. Get hold of Holly. I'll tell you what, she will really take care of you. Make sure you get the, the craft you want. There's all kinds of the, uh, the XL series available for you. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, this is the one that I really wanted to get hold of. Again, it's five inches longer than the Sport and the Advanced Frame. You can't go wrong with it. So I hope you enjoyed this review. This is part one of two. We will be taking this out on the Paddling Places Florida season opener in a couple of weeks. And we'll be taking this uh, craft out, doing its maiden launch. We'll be videotaping that. So you'll be getting part two of the AE 1044 on the water. And we'll be heading out towards Homosassa, Florida to a river I can't even pronounce. So we look forward to that. We look forward to seeing you out there. Stay tuned for part two. You see you on the next one.